They're revising our history every single step of the way. I'm here in Salt Lake City today, and I just passed again Cesar Chavez Boulevard. Now you tell me what Cesar Chavez Boulevard has to do in Salt Lake City. Cesar Chavez Boulevard in America, I'm calling you, I'm calling you today, and I'm asking you to tell me what it is that you are prepared to do. I don't want to fight. I'm not a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Um, but I am, uh, I am somebody who is not going to take it sitting down. I am, uh, I'm not done. And you're at the point, I believe, you're about to win. But I'm not sure there are enough people that actually believe that anymore. The last stage of a movement is, um, is just at the point to where they're going to win. And this is where it always fails. People are tired. They're burned out. They are, have been convinced that they're not going to win, that the establishment will win. And so they just shut down. And it's at that last step. The next step is you win, but most don't carry on. If you've got a town that has a Cesar Chavez Boulevard, I want you to start a campaign. And if you're in a small town where you don't have a Cesar Chavez Boulevard, you have to understand, you have to embed what we are and who we are every way in every way you can, everywhere you can. Get onto your city council or get your city council to start putting in a George Washington Memorial Boulevard, a Thomas Jefferson Memorial Boulevard, a Rush Limbaugh Memorial Boulevard. Whatever the boulevard is, they are doing it to us. Make sure you are ramping it up in your town and putting those boulevards and those street names.